If you've ever wanted to cut stuff with a rotary tool, you're in the right place. It's like 8 a.m. So if I say anything that's not as eloquent as usual, please forgive me because I haven't had my full dosage of caffeine yet. Thank you to Dremel for sending us the tools that we're using in this video, and as always, be sure to click the subscribe button, which is somewhere down here. And while you're at it, you should follow us on social media to see our antics off camera as well, and that's linked down in the description below. So there's two main ways to cut with a Dremel, and that's using either a cutting wheel or a cutting bit. We'll start with cutting wheels. Cutting wheels, or cutoff discs, are essentially thin circles of material made of either fiberglass or a compact abrasive that cut through your material by spinning really quickly. Abrasive discs are perfect for the softer things, like materials all the way up to wood, and then once you get harder than that, we'd really recommend you switch to a fiberglass disc. Either way, cutoff wheels attach to your Dremel via the mandrel, which is a small metal rod that has a screw going through it and that holds your cutting disc securely in place. You might notice how it slows down as you're cutting through material. That's normal, just ease back up and it'll go right back up to speed. Because it's a compact abrasive, as you cut away on your material, you're also losing part of your abrasive, and so your cutting wheel will get smaller over time. That's not really a problem because they come in large packs, but if your wheel keeps getting smaller, now you know why. Just be sure to change it often, like a diaper. Exactly like a diaper. Just exactly like that. Oh my god. Okay. Straight bits are super different from cutting wheels. They basically turn your Dremel into a little eighth inch router that let you freehand a path. This is done by just plunging the bit in and then moving it laterally along the material. Make sure you either have a sacrificial material or air underneath it so that you don't end up cutting into your table. You'll notice that the, these more milling style bits have flanges or threads which basically just push the discarded material out. Make sure you know that this is very different from drill bits. Drill bits have no lateral strength and should never be used sideways. These are probably the easiest tool to attach because there is only one piece and it just screws into your Dremel. Just make sure to use the right bit for the material that you're cutting. You can also use an attachment that will give you a nice offset from the material and let you route more traditionally. And there's your crash course on cutting things with a road Rachel. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see next. As always, this is Zyla and Andrew in his corner signing off from Beauty and the Bolt. And subscribe! <laughs>